So what up, guys? So hey, listen, I got a story. Uh, another spiritual story, man. I'm a spiritual dude. What can I say? Um, you got to be a little spiritual to ride a skateboard at 49 years old, right? So anyhow, I was talking to my wife, married about 10, 11 years at the time, and I was asking her, have you had any spiritual events in your life that have just proven to you that there's a higher power, anything, you know? And uh, she's basically kind of telling me no, you know? You've kind of got that like stock answer, well, the birth of my child kind of thing. But anyway, I told her, I said, you know, being that I've had these kind of experiences in my life, I just, nothing can ever make me think otherwise, you know? There's a higher power, I'm certain of it. And I told her, you know, you need to have one of those experiences of your own. So, okay, <clears throat> a week goes by. I have a dream one night. And my wife was pregnant at the time, actually. Also, in the dream, she was pregnant. And we're driving around on this mountain road, a dirt road. And at the time, I owned a property out in the Temecula Valley that we lived in full time. It was a five acre mountaintop property. And then I had another 30 acres in the mountains near Hemet. Um, mountainous though. And uh, we're driving up that road. We're driving up that road in my dream. And that's a good, I'm gonna say five miles up this windy dirt road. So this is a road her and I drive all the time. And because um, we got to go up and check on our property and we got some animals up there. So we're going up there daily. We're driving it a lot. There are deer in the area. And right now I live in Austin, Texas. And in Austin, Texas, and I'm sure other parts of the country, you guys see deer like I see deer here in Austin all the time. It's not weird to see a herd of deer go by. There could be one standing right behind me in the bush here looking at me and it wouldn't surprise me one bit. But in this part of town, deer are elusive. So anyway, I have this dream. We're driving down this road and a deer jumps right out in front of the truck. And I'm dreaming this dream in the same truck, same road. I even kind of remember what part of the road it happened in. I put this arm up in front of her as I slam on the brakes and we just barely miss this giant deer. And out in California, in that part of town, we have these mule deer, and they are bigger than the deer out here in Austin. But anyway, um, I'm gonna tell her about this dream. I wake up that morning, she's sleeping later. We have our coffee, I go to work. One thing leads to another, I forget to tell her about the dream. I forget to tell her about the dream for about two weeks. And then finally, Two weeks, two and a half weeks later, we're driving out to that property. And as we're driving up that road, I recognize the corner because at that very moment, I actually have a vision of the deer jumping out. And I'm like, whoa, hey, hon, I got to tell you about this dream I had about two weeks ago. And I start telling her about the dream. I said... You're pregnant just like you are now. We're driving this truck just like we are now. And say we're driving up to that road. A matter of fact, I think that's the corner right there. As we start to go around this corner, I put my foot on the brake in real life. I actually put my foot on the brake. I put my hand up against my wife. This is real life, this isn't the dream. And I said right as I did that and I hit the brake, this big mule deer in real life jumped out in front of the truck as I said it. I said, hun, as I did this, this big deer jumped out in front of us and we just barely missed him. And sure enough, you know, I wasn't stopping because I didn't see a deer. I was hauling butt like we normally did to make a five mile dirt road faster, right? And uh, both of us, we pulled over the car, we looked at each other, and we said, dude, we just had one of those experiences together, you know? And 
I have tons of stories like this in my life, but I seldom have a story that involves someone else, you know? So when we come in, you know, contact with new friends or whatever, and anything sort of spiritual or, you know, a story of this kind of nature comes up, and I tell this story, you know, they look at my wife like, did that really happen? You know, and she's blown away. So she'll even tell you that day, you know, she kind of had an experience, a spiritual type of experience because she was blown away by it. So anyway, pay attention. Open your eyes. Ask to see. And you will ask to have an example ask to be given knowledge or clues or clues whatever it takes if you've never had that kind of experience you need to have one but ask and expect ask and expect that is the key all right man take care hope you all are living wonderful lives amen